Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. It's driving with Shaq D. Look who I've got in the car. <laughs> None other than Junior, aka Junior Giscom. How are you doing? I'm good, you know, man. Oh, wow, oh, I'm wow. Good, I, man. I, I, I'm good. You know, I can't actually believe that you're sitting in the car. <laughs> because you see this song playing right here now? I'm hearing you. I was at primary school. I was in primary school when this came out. Yeah. And now it's just, I just can't work out. But anyway, starstruck and all that. <laughs> what are you saying? Right? I went, when I had this tune, I went to Donnie's school and did a talk. Wow. Back then, and met Donnie when he was 13. Then I had a cousin, one of my cousins, when I was about, yeah, three years later, he got to 16 and he, he cut a track, and everybody was going crazy about this kid, mm -hmm. right? And I'm there and I'm thinking, this is the same kid that I met three years prior. And said, yeah, and said, I want to do this. I want to be in music. And I look at him now and I'm like, go on, you, man. <laughs> That's good that you can see that um, somebody who you influenced, you went into school, spoke to him, and now, now you're working together. Can you imagine? But we'll cover that we'll in a cover minute. That again. Out. So what are, you, what are you doing at the moment in your, in your solo career? Solo career? Yeah. Basically, I went... I went to Jamaica two weeks ago okay. and I'd been asked by um, a producer called Wayne Lonesome if I would remake this very same song but in reggae with Luciano. Wow. Now I saw you in studio. Anyway, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I went down and um, I had my whole family down with me as well and uh, took the kids and it was amazing. The kids don't know me that way in terms of Junior the singer. Mm -hmm. They know me as, here we go people showing my age, they know me as Junior the granddad. Oh wow. So going in and working with Lucci, it blew their minds more than it did mine. Okay. And it was such a great experience. So. I think what I'd like to try and do with the next junior project is is go back to Yard and have an affinity dumps. there. You understand? <laughs> I really do have an affinity there and I, I'd like to actually do reggae and junior, i.e. junior songs, right, in reggae, duetting with, say, Lucci. Well, I have to cut you Ferris. there. I have to cut you there. Watch. Shoot. Check this out. Check this out. People, listen to this. Cool, cool, cool. Check this out. Are we here on the chop? You remember this? <laughs> yeah? yeah I, come, I, come yeah? I come prepared, yeah? I come prepared. I come prepared. Right. Get out of here. I want to know. Go on. Did you get anything for this? Not a penny. Not a penny? Not a penny. People, this is Shinehead singing Mama Used to Say it with a Billy Jean kind of flow. If you don't know, you just, just Google it, yeah? Back in the day when this came out, mm -hmm. right? That whole sampling thing, they hadn't got, the industry hadn't got a hold on. Okay. So you would find, for instance, there was a song called um, I Got a Man, mm -hmm. and it used Mama Used to Say. You've got another song that was huge in hip hop, started a band off called Bone, bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. Right, their first tune, Thuggish Rubbish Bone, again, that's what I was involved, that's my song, Mama Used to Say, again. So Mama Used to Say, really did influence right across the board from hip hop, reggae, pop, the actual song itself. Mm -hmm. you know? No royalties. Uh, People, so we need the money. We need the money. Send the money. Send the money. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. But it was at, at the time, I suppose what it was, was that I, I didn't think about it in terms of the finances or anything like that. Yeah. It was just the mere fact that like, wow, somebody thought that what I did was good. Yeah, it's like proud, proud moments. Do you know what I'm saying? It was one of those. Right, so I didn't think it was like even when I when I won the Grammy, I got a letter through saying that I was supposed to go over to America and collect the Grammy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I looked at the letter and I thought to myself, "You're lying. What well, Grammy for what? Right? <laughs> You're crazy, right?" So I never went, right? Never went. Never picked it up, right? And then realised that like, hold on a minute, it was for Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, yeah. I don't. The accolades from it are not what it is, mm -hmm, if you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the music in it. it. If the music's good and if I can feel it or whatever else, and it's just great that like I could have done something and somebody else turned around yeah. and figured it was that good. That they needed to take it, you know? Okay. Nah, that was a trip wow. in those days. So do you think this 
the mummy used to say is that is that the, the the biggest song would you say that you everybody done? says that but i but my biggest song was do you really want my love beverly hill cup yeah. yeah right i think it was like 40 million albums that thing did around the world that album so if you're saying the biggest song out there that i've done i would say do you really want my love okay but i think the most popular song within let's say popular music that I'd done would be Mummy used to say okay. for the populist. But I think that people that know Junior, it would be Morning Will Come. Definitely, definitely. We'll come on to that no, no later. Problem. So, um, when was your last solo album? Last solo album I put out was about three years ago. Okay. And I didn't actually put it out. What I did was I, I put it up on a few sites just to see how people would look at the music, how did they, and just to get feedback from it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I've just kept hold of the album. Feedback was great. I just thought, you know what? The British Collective at the present moment in time is what I'm studying and doing. Right. So I've got the album in the can. The reggae scenario will be the next album after that one. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's where it, that's where that's. So I saw you on um, on Facebook in studio voicing a dub play. Yeah. I, I love that. I watched Thank all you. of it. I just Thank loved, you. I, I could sit in the studio all day and just watch how they. How, how did you, how did that go? How did you like that? That was incredible. That was in Grenada, right? No, no, no. That was in Yard. That was in Yard. Okay. That was in Yard. Okay. But that, that whole, how that whole thing went down and how they do what they do, mm -hmm. I've been watching for years because every year I go down there, I, I go to studios down there and I'll, I'll sit out mm -hmm. and I'll watch these people and I'll watch these artists and they will be there and they are practicing, they're getting it right. Mm -hmm. They go in. They have two takes and bam, that's it. that's it. Right? So I've been watching and watching and watching for years. So going in, it was like, because I never do dub plays. Never? Never do dub plays. Money to be right? made in that. That's what people tell me. But it's, again, as I keep saying, it can't be just for the money. Yeah. For me. No, no. Right? So doing this, I was like, get out of here. You're going to use the same old boy rhythm. Right? But you're gonna put the originator back on top of it. Now that's a trip. Come on. So have they have, have they done that? They finished. Yeah, that? they finished so it. So that's coming out as a single. It's gonna come out as a single, right? Is it, I don't know if you've, is this an exclusive? <laughs> is, this, is this an exclusive? This is an exclusive to you. Exclusive to me. Nobody knows. Luciano. Oh, Luciano. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Junior Giscom featuring Luciano, Luciano the Messenger. Yes. Yeah? You heard it here first. Shaq Lee driving with Shaq Lee. Tracks done, Shaq. How long? Tracks how long till it comes out? Shaq. I would say it'd be on the street in about six weeks. Well, I've got to go back to do the video. I need a dub plate. I'll give you a dub plate. I'll give you a dub plate. You heard, that, you heard that. He said he's giving me a dub plate. I'm play. giving him a dub plate. And, and Lucy. With Lucy. Oh, anyway, I, 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 <laughs> as, as the youth say today, I'm not going to get gassed until I see until, until I, I hear it. I hear it and okay. I've got it. Wow. No, it's done. We, it was mixed last week. Okay. I've got a copy of it. Sounds fantastic. Wow. Um, Boyce Gardner did the music. Right. Um, I wanna wake up. Would you remember that tune? You know them tune there, right? He did Rub the, oh, he did the music. It was just, it's like just authentic reggae. Okay. And what Lucci, Lucci said a thing when he was singing, and 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 for the first time, it kind of, he turned and he said to me, "I want to caress the lyric." Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm sitting there. You wanna caress the lyric? And then I listened to how he approached the track. And I was like, oh my gosh first time I'd actually sat down and anybody had approached the lyric of the song in the way that he did. Mm -hmm. I oh, Luciano. Oh, love Luciano. He's just love Luciano. So, just, just, just a, one more bit on um, yeah. on Mama Used to Say. Yeah. What influenced the the lyrics in that song? Is it something that personally happened to you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, I used to work right, um, in a shoe shop and I used to have all these girls would come in. And this particular day, this chick came in and she was stunning. But she was, I was 21, 22 at the time. And I thought, boy, if I tell this girl that I'm 22, she's gonna feel that I'm too old, right? Because I've asked her and she said that she was, at that time she was 17. So I put my head down to, um, <laughs> I told her that I was 19. I laughed at the time, came home, told my mum, and she started laughing. And I went upstairs same day, wrote that song, went back to the shoe shop the following day, I'm singing it in the shop. Mm -hmm. Same girl came into the shop 
and we started chatting, and that's how I got the rest of the meal. Okay. Do you still know her? Oh yeah, we still talk. She lives oh, in wow. um, where she living now? She lives in Taiwan or somewhere like that. She wow. she does charity work, right? Helps kids and stuff like that. But we keep in contact every now and again. We might like email one another. How's it all going out there? How's the music going and mm-hmm. stuff? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So you, did you sort of like always know that this is what you wanted to do from when you were at school? I had two choices. I think it was either football or music. Football, I used to play for my school team and then I went in and I, a, a guy called Eddie McCready who used to play for Chelsea back in the day. Eddie McCready was, I think he was a, a left back or a right back. I think he was left back. Mm-hmm. But he came to the school, took over doing football at the school for a little while and gave us all a trial at Chelsea. So I got him to play for Chelsea. But then in those days, what they used to do is that you were supposed to wash out the bath and, yeah. and clean people's boots. And I ain't doing it. that. You were having it. You were having Man, it. Man, I wasn't <laughs> doing that. <laughs> on, the, on the subject of football, because, because, because Omar said he don't know and he's not interested in football, oh, who mate. do you support? I'm a United supporter, man. Oh, you know Clean what? I should, I should stop the car now yeah, no, and boot him out. Right. You know, right? Yeah, Because right. I'm Liverpool, yeah? Liverpool! And that can't oh! work. Interview over. Oh! Interview over. Come I'm out, out, mate. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not United. Hey, I've got to say, though, man. I've got to say. That beating last week. Brilliant. Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Dortmund. Yeah. Dortmund. Oh, mate. Li- what? Liverpool give me a heart attack. Oh. I don't know how they do it. But you know what? That's my team, and yeah. I've got to give it to them, man. They were brilliant. Thank you. And, and obviously, in order to get to that round, we had to knock you lot out. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had to put that in. Just had to put that I in. didn't want to go there, little, you know. I was trying thing. to play cool. <laughs> I was no, trying to be cool. No, you're being that. nice, and I've just been a horrible person. So it's no, all right, thank man. you very much. It's um, all right, because I know that, you know, it must be tough yeah. understanding that we're still above you. Yeah, with that rubbish manager. Right, well, but even so, I, even yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I know. Is But what, I, what I, was, I was planning, if yeah. Liverpool can win the Europa League, yeah. right, and then you lot got into fourth place, would that kick you back out? Because that would really make me laugh. Because you know if you win the Europa League, oh, you go to Champions League. Oh, you go Champions League. Yeah. Well, you see, I'm hoping, right, that you... I do want you to win it, but we need the points on Arsenal and see. Oh, yeah, I'd love Arsenal not to, 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 to qualify like for me. the Champions League because they're every year this rubbish. <laughs> But you know, we could do football forever. We could do football let's, all let's get back day, to music. mate. <laughs> What's playing in the background now? All right. Yes. British Collective. That's you, isn't it? That's you. Yeah. And love me tonight. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what? This is number one in the soul charts in UK soul charts. Yeah, and it's been number one in, in the independent chart as well for two weeks. Wow. Incredible. So congratulations. Stuff. Thanks, man. Who's I, whose idea, if it was any one person's idea, was it to cover this track? Because I remember this, was it Barry Boom or someone? Um, that had Trevor, reggae? it was Trevor, Trevor Waters, Waters. Trevor Waters, sorry. That actually done the done track. Done the track, yeah. But it was um, Noel. Noel, yeah? Yeah, it was Noel. We were in the studio and we were doing, I think it was Stay, mm-hmm. right? on the From the album, a track from the album called Stay. And after we'd done all the vocals and everything, he just turned around and said, you know what we should do? I said, well, Love Me Tonight. And we just, Don and myself started singing. Mm-hmm. Started singing it. Now we all started singing it. And it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you could see all five doing a part in the song and also being able to put across who they were, their personalities and voice. So how does that all work? You're, you, you, you find a song. Yeah. Um, and everybody's going to obviously chip in with their part. You have to sit down and discuss, okay, I think you should do this bit, this bit. How, how, did, how does that work? I think it's more free. I think the, the, the project as a, as a, we didn't point people in directions with it, but what, what mm-hmm. really happened is a song would be written. Yeah. And then once a song was written, everybody would put their thing on top of the song. Yeah. So you were going to get something slightly different with each individual. Yeah. So you were working with that individual's style. So that's what makes it more like if you say uh, compact. Okay. But that's what it was. It wasn't. It wasn't like right. You sing it like this, mm-hmm. or I want you to do that part. What it was was like what we were hearing was like if we allowed everybody to be free, mm-hmm. we got the best, the best out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Opposed to trying to say I want you to do this, I want you to do that, and also it would also make us very different to everybody else. Mm-hmm. We're five individual artists ourselves. We all do pretty well in what we're doing. Yeah. So for me, it was kind of like, 
I'm not trying to make anybody sound, if it was a junior song, I don't want it to sound like junior, I want it to sound like you. Mm -hmm. So that would then change how the song sounded, changed how you would approach the song. Yeah, give you know? a, like a freshness to it. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, you're you're now excited about the song because of the way that they're approaching the song. Mm -hmm. So then you can throw in even more ideas and everybody then was pulling bits and pieces. And then when it came down to how it all sounded and stuff in the end, it really was down to like Don and myself in terms of how the sound was and what we were after from. Okay, okay. So, and, and in terms of the British character, I know mm. I kind of asked this question to Omar, but um, who, whose idea was it to put the five of you as you are now together? We did um, Donnie's track, right? Um, we did, it was on Little Star. Yeah. It was the first thing that we all got together and did. Mm -hmm. And after we did that, right, it was like, Don and myself was like, we've got to keep this going. Mm -hmm. We've got to keep this going, right? And we had uh, Carl from Loose End. Yeah. was also a part of it. And uh, Carl dropped out. And the five of us, right, who worked on the, the first track, we just decided to make an album. Mm -hmm. We didn't go into a long, drawn-out scenario. It was more it made total sense. It was like all five of us have five different audiences out there as well as a central audience. Yeah. And if we came together and made a record, right, as the British Collective, also showing our history, mm -hmm. showing the development and that the, the music hasn't, it's not trying to be retro, it is soul music it's, yeah. and it comes from here. It's born here and it's that melting pot of music that nowhere else in the world has, which is that pop, rock, punk, this, that, and Antara with reggae being the bottom line, mm -hmm. right? So you have all of that mixture in a pot that you can turn, mm -hmm. right? And you can use. And I didn't hear, I wasn't hearing music coming out of England that, that, that from especially black acts. I wasn't hearing nothing coming out for the last 10, 15 years. That was different, that was challenging that was fighting, mm -hmm. that was saying something that the youth then was saying, right? I didn't see a, a, a youth man coming out there who had any principles and morals or anything like that and was standing so you can't, up. You can't look right now and pick one. One? Not for me at the minute, just from here, yeah. who's, who's saying what everybody, the youths are saying, mm. right? Who's, as they say, keeping it real yeah. without trying to fantasize times that we're living in, right? But making people aware of it. It's like what I'm trying to say is, is my, my, in terms of education in music in that way, was from people like Gil Scott Heroin, from The Lost Poets, from, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. People who were standing for something, people mm -hmm. who said something, yeah. people who... Now it's just throwaway music. Yeah, yeah. man, it's yeah. just, and it's such a shame because, right, what it does is a lot of the young kids who come in and make him, I had a guy send me a tape, right? Send me a tune. And he's telling me that it's his tune. It's an Isley Brothers tune, right? And he's got the backing track of the Isley Brothers going in his tune. And he's telling me that he thought that. I said to him, but my friend, it's it's not yours. It's it's the Isley Brothers, yeah. right? And he ain't getting it. You know, he thought it. Out. So it's it's like saying you don't know the history of the music that you're actually making. Yeah. yeah exactly. So yeah. because of it, right, <clears throat> you're not able to sustain what mm -hmm. you're doing because it's always about who's coming out next. I need a sound like him. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's And that was frustrating to all of us, the five of us, that we were seeing that nobody was challenging. So that was also a reason for the British Collective because we also incorporate Roachford, um, Sinclair, Don, um, Don Blackwood. So you're saying, are they going to be coming into it or are they just on different tracks? Or? They're on different tracks okay. to show the British collective, this yeah. is a whole British thing. This isn't about, we have a nucleus of five men, mm -hmm. but this isn't about the five men. It's about the music. It's about where we come from. It's about making sure that our history is told, right, from its conception right up to now any and continue. Any female artists? Well, to be honest with you, you know, it's the other part of this whole scenario mm -hmm. is to talk to some females about actually getting together some well-known ones 
mm-hmm. and doing exactly the same, same thing, thing as what we're doing right so that then we can take the whole thing on the road yeah we would like those females to then bring in younger females mm-hmm. so the whole thing is then shown as growth opposed to a stagnant it's all about these five guys so it would be really good if you could find a young male artist at the moment that you believe in and then bring exactly. him in okay that's what it's about. I'm it's, thinking this is a, this is a massive concert at some stage. Got to be. Got to be. Like, it's got yeah. to be because it's as I said, it's it's just incorporating. We want. It's not about what we're doing, you know. It's about what's to come. Yeah. So we could have made a retrospective album in terms of Lee doing something like an imagination thing, Junior doing something like let's say populist. Mama used to say, mm-hmm. and we could have all done that. Yeah. We come up with another. There's nothing like this, and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But all that does is push us back. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't show the growth of British music anymore. We mm-hmm. were leading, right, yeah. from the seventies in the late seventies, early early eighties, right? British music, right? Especially black music. It had so many different variants. It was leading mm-hmm. all over the world, right? We were hitting everywhere. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, right, it died. Yeah. And then one act came, Soul to Soul. Mm-hmm. Since Soul to Soul, who's come? Mm. Truly come. I'll, I'll have to think about that one. Maybe Tiny Temper, maybe, mm. from how the exposure of it all. Yeah. Right? But who's truly come and who's truly stayed? You have a rock act. I think, I think, come out. I think he's done well. Somebody who I think has done well, and mm. I always say that um, we'll come on to reality television in a minute. Mm. That it's best not to win a reality TV show. It's best to come <laughs> second. Yeah. True, and the true. person I could probably say is Lamar. True. Yeah. True. He do, he's done well. He's done well. Considering he was second, he was second. He was second if, I in you, that. if I ask you who won that competition, you probably can't tell me. I wouldn't know. So yeah, so, I wouldn't know. But that's true. Yeah. Lamar has done well, right? But again, the projection. If you if if you take into account that if you're a rock pop act, right, every time a record comes out from you, you're seen. If you're going somewhere, you're seen. You're talked about. You're in the press. You're this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. Even down to Craig David, then yes, there's another David, one yeah, too, yeah, yeah. right? The massive Craig and, and and did great things and, and back and, and back out again. Thank you, yeah. right? And back again with something fresh. Mm-hmm. Again, showing that that whole British thing isn't about this. It's about moving the whole thing forward. Yeah. Oh, can't go down now. Can't go down there now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, um, what was I going to say? So we've done football. Yep. Grenada. How was Grenada? How was Grenada? Is it like a what? What happens in Grenada stays in Grenada. <laughs> <laughs> Omar described it as um, public school boys coming together, being thrown into, it, and it just, it just said he just said he had lost so much in in a week. It's what would you say? I would say that it was like one of the best times I've ever spent. Okay. Right? It was just such fun. We totally enjoyed one another. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of the fact that like we've not spent so much time together like that. Yeah. So you got to know people and you got to know their characters and boy, you got some funny guys. I mean, Noel and, and, and Noel and Omar are just so funny, man. Mm -hmm. So, so funny, you know. <laughs> What's his name? Noel. We'll be chatting and Noel's gone off somewhere fast asleep. He lick him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Where's so Noel? No one got their eyebrows, no one got their eyebrows shaved off or anything like that. Oh dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we yeah. could have done him bad, you know. We yeah. really could have. But we were mild. We we just took the lick. So your first time in Grenada? No, it's my second time. Okay. I love okay. Grenada. So are there any countries that you haven't visited that you'd like to visit and, and, and tour I'd like and to go, I'd like to go to Hawaii. I've never done Hawaii. Okay. Aloha. Um, I'd love to do that. Right. Um, we're not really sure. Europe, right? I, there's a lot of places I'd like to Prague I'd like to do in Europe. I'd like to go to Russia as well and see if that is. Right. Um, a lot of these places I want to see what it is more than it is. Okay. Anything else? I want to play there. Yeah. You know, see what the audiences are like. Right. What it is that they like about Junior, right? You know, so you can make your music so that it, it, it channels to them. It yeah. says it to them. Okay. A lot of Europe in that way. And you've just been announced on My Soul's Margate Weekender. What? So we're all looking forward to that. Yeah. So I'm, I know we are. Cause it's, it, yeah, because it's kind of like we we've we bonded. 
through where we went and we all want to do more together okay you know what i mean so we're looking forward to it and a, a lot of the acts on there people that like you know i know as well so it's going to be nice kathy sledge from mm. sister sledge cc Peniston, Peniston, yeah soul to soul featuring karen, karen wheeler, wheeler. Mm -hmm. so yeah i mean and snowboy was a um, yeah. discussionist so yeah I know snowboy. last year was really good this is the 10th year so we're all looking forward to it my good. soul Good. All the people listening to my soul remember my show is on a Saturday, on certain Saturday, on a Monday. <laughs> let me know what my show is. Monday, Monday, midnight till two, playing slow jams. You might catch me playing this song. So sure. right about now, I'm just gonna hand it over to the man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess about, as you know. I would. Hey. Let me just move it over here because hey. you don't want to see me. So Junior's gonna give you a bit of morning. We'll come. So thank you very much for watching, and um, stay tuned. This, we could, this, this is what you call video dub play. Yeah, 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 there yeah. you go. Video <laughs> dub play. That's a new one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like that. I could be bound to kill him. Lord of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we didn't talk about before we go further? What's no, 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 let it go. Yeah. What we didn't talk about, Richard. Yes. Okay, people. So, back in the day, going to college, Richard Blackwood used to pick me up every day from my house, take me to college take me back. Richard and this man here are cousin. Cousin? No, I'm his uncle. He's his uncle. Yeah. So Richard, when you're watching this year, right, I've got your uncle in the car. <laughs> One day when the BBC let me, I'm going to have you in the car. Too I'm going to be driving and you're going to talk to me. Too late. But right about now, it's time for sing. You know, it's the kind of thing here, right? This is like, this is like Sunday morning, six o'clock in, exactly. in the dance. Exactly. You've got black bags on the window. You want to go home because your calf muscles are hurting you. This comes on, Ooh, yeah. and you're looking for a dance. Yeah, ladies. Yeah, summer. Come on. So we go so go so go so like that. Yeah, so we go so now we go so like this. Ooh, it's Shaq yeah, Junior. Yeah, driving with. Let's go. Go with me. Now. Where we going? Where we going? These are days when no one like of the sun. All of this sexy girl feels your life now. Woo! In making the way that you follow all so clean. What a voice, what a voice. Nothing can go wrong. It's Junior. And when you're moving in the positive way. You know that, people. Sky, love, she sings. Don't forget the dub play. You have to say Shakti or something, something. To sing a special song for Shakti, just for you. Morning will come uh -huh. with the rise of the sun, showing me the way, the way I must live at the dawn of the day. Spirits will rise to find a Just like the record. Money in pocket seems to buy away a life like happiness. You know that, right? Spot. He must find a way to live and give all of ourselves. Take it to the bridge, take it to the bridge, take it to the bridge.
Showing me the way, the way I must live at the dawn of the day. Spirits will rise to find a new way. Music. Thunder dance. I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. I'm pulling over. I'm stopping. Thank you very much. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Wow. Thank you. Everybody, pleasure. Junior Giscom, driving pleasure. with Shatley. That was amazing. That's a drive, trust me. Keep it tuned. That's a drive. <laughs>